Hey, it's Jamila from Buy Pink. Um, today I'm gonna show you guys how to take a, a design that you've designed in Photoshop over to Adobe Illustrator to um, be able to convert the shapes into paths and uh, turn your design into an SVG for use with the Cricut or whatever. Um, so this is my design. It looks like a hot mess. I already have it open over here in Illustrator and I've already started <clears throat> converting. Now, my base, the base to my flower, that's what I'm making here as a flower. The base to my flower is uh, basically already a path. So the first thing I have to do is rasterize that layer. And then um, ungroup it. And once I've un ungrouped it, <clears throat> I'm going to trace the image. Ex oops, expand it. And then you're going to end up with some white when you um, expand everything. So you just delete that white. So with, with the other uh, shapes, all you have to do is you're going to image trace and expand. Open it up, get rid of the white, and then where it, the where it says path here, you click it, and then on my Mac I do Command Eight, or you can go up here to Object, Compound Path, and then Make. So I'm gonna do that with everything, with all of my shapes. And it doesn't matter that they are all black because once you um, um, convert them to an SVG, you will be able to, you know, each of them will still be separate. And I'll be back to show you guys me loading it into my design space. All right, I just wanted to walk you guys through one more time before I um, show you guys the next step as far as like loading into uh, Cricut Design Space. So you click your image, image trace, expand and then get rid of the white and then turn into a compound layer. We're gonna do it one more time here. Image trace, expand, go into that group, delete, and then we're gonna turn both of these into compound paths. So I have everything for for my flower in this file now. Everything looks all black, but that doesn't matter. So I'm going to save this as an SVG or whatever the file name you might need. And then I'll be back to show you me loading it to the design space. Now we are in design space. So I wanted to show you guys how, um, what I did in Adobe Illustrator converts over to uh, Cricut Design Space. So I'm gonna click on new project and I'm going to upload the flower SVG that I just saved. And it should open up with all my little bits and pieces. insert this into my project and everything is grouped together obviously so the first thing I'm going to do is ungroup 
everything because I want, and I'm going to change the color of each item just so you can kind of see that everything did save the way that it should have. So now you can see, I'm going to group these ones back together. Now you can see we have all of our, our pieces for the flower. And I am doing a, a blog post on this flower. Um, so I will link that below when I'll link it below when um, I have the blog post up and ready. But um, I just wanted to show you an easy way to turn a Photoshop design into paths in Adobe Illustrator that you can use to create SVGs. Um, sometimes designing in Photoshop is easier for me, at least, than designing in um, Adobe Illustrator. So a lot of times I just design in Adobe Illustrator and then bring everything back over here, or, or I'm sorry, design in Photoshop and bring everything back to Adobe Illustrator um, and, you know, make some magic happen. But I hope that this video can help someone. And thank you for watching.